A normal human has 46 chromosomes. The locus describes the specific location of genes, which are units of heredity on the chromosomes. A gene has alleles, which is one of two or more forms of a gene. For example, recessive alleles, arbitrarily given letters like little t little t on a gene in humans, do code for the presence of red hair. Therefore, the genotype is the gene sequence, little t little t in this case, and the phenotype is the manifestation of that genotype, which here is the red hair in humans. In rabbit fur color, there are five alleles to control fur color. Capital C results in complete coloration, which is dominant over all the other alleles. C3 is chinchilla, which is dominant over the ones below it. And C2, C1, and C0 are incompletely dominant with each other, as shaded, Himalayan, and albino respectively. So if we start with all five alleles in the population, represented by these four, um, we cross them such that a dominant crosses with a um, an incompletely dominant C1 and C0, and it results in uh, C3, C1, which would be a chinchilla Himalayan, uh, a, a completely dominant, a um, chinchilla albino mix, and then another completely dominant, but those all contain alleles C1, C0, C3, and capital C. And then if we look at the second cross, which is capital C and C2, where C2 is shaded, we cross that with an albino, and we get a completely dominant, and we get two of those, and then we also get a um, half-shaded, half-albino. So, however, if we consider true breeding rabbits, and we want to continue their exact phenotypes, however, that would require six mating pairs to continue, whereas this just requires two mating pairs to keep all the alleles in the population.